but this is a true story is that Elon called me at home in Huntsville and said, I got a project. I think you might be interested. So that counts as being out. cherry picked. I, I think, say. I think so. Yeah. Okay. When the guy who owns the thing calls you personally, <laughs> he's stealing you. <laughs> <laughs> so shortly after I left NASA in Huntsville and went to SpaceX. Yeah, and it's Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, right. Alabama. And of course we just learned that the headquarters for the Space Force is moving from Colorado Springs to Huntsville, Alabama. It was a little weird because the president said, and from now on we'll be named Rocket City, but it's always called Rocket City. Yeah, it's always was. been Rocket yeah. City. It's always well, been you Rocket know, City. he does that. <laughs> Let me ask you both this then before mm -hmm. I know, because you brought up these FFRDC. RDC, yeah. Is that still necessary now that there's so much commercial activity in space travel? And or, like, is it still necessary for the government to seed money into things so that we can then go forward in discovery? I love your question because what I've been watching happening in the quote new space industry is venture capital and businesses chase things that add value or add to the stock price or add to profit. Mm -hmm. The government and the FFRDCs focus on necessary technology that there's no business case for. 